Falcon. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. It's Video Game Gnosis here, and we got a brand new whiskey that we're trying out with you guys. So, on this channel, we review whiskeys and video games. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future reviews on whiskeys and video games. All right, so today we're trying out some Gentleman Jack. Um, Jack Daniels. Gentleman Jack Daniels. According to the official website, it's. Um, Technically not a bourbon. This is their only double charcoal mellowed whiskey. Uh, the Massey Distiller states it's their friendliest whiskey. Or sorry. Uh, well, he basically said that it's like their friendliest whiskey. Right, right. Um, and it's uh, 80 proof. Yeah, 80 proof. As you can see, we got some Tekken 7 going on here. Some online matches. Right, I'm excited. Um, we've tried the original Jack Daniels. Um, I think it's pretty good. So we thought we'd try Gentleman Jack. All right, I'm going in for the smell. Okay. I'm not getting much. It's very faint for me. Um, I get some kind of ethanol, but it's, it's faint. So what makes this whiskey really special is that it's filtered through sugar maple wood charcoal. Twice. Right, this two times. One. This one's their only one that they filter twice. It's G Gentleman Jack, right? Yeah, yeah. we're Gentleman Jack. It's it's a, I'm getting a sweetness on the nose. It's a, um, it's a really neat process, though, by the way. Yeah, you should look it up on uh, YouTube. Yeah, maybe look we'll, up some we'll videos. Maybe put the link in the description yeah, so you can check it out. Yeah, it's really neat. Um, I'm getting a sweetness. There's a slight sour tone to it. For me, I'm not getting much. I'm going to go in for the taste. Ooh, smoky. Mmm. I get a smokiness. Yeah, I'm going to go in for the taste. Okay. Now it's becoming sweeter. I... I smell that maple, that maple wood, but I got kind of some smoke in the back of my mouth, like um, on the first sip. I kind of wow. took a, a big gulp on accident, but oh, this is way better than smoky. the standard Jack Daniels, I think. I like it. Um, it's um, I like how the finish is kind of dry. Yeah. It just it's, it doesn't it just out it's there. And it's yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Usually, um, I like the longer finishes. But this is. Kind of nice how they did it. Um, it, it seems very clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's really good. I like it. It's um, um it's not terribly complex, but oh, it's you know what? It's nice. A, and it's simple. a very um. Where, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so. It's non-invasive. Like. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you could pair it with a lot of good foods if you wanted to pair it with. Right. It's definitely uh, not in your face. Right. It's very subtle. Everything's subtle. And I think it's funny because isn't it called double mellowed? <laughs> right, yeah. So that's really mellow. They claim that it's double mellowed, which indeed it really is. It's a, it's a mellow drinker. Um, you know what it, it reminds me of? What? You know, we'll go into that on the second part. After, okay. After the highlights. Yeah, yeah. We'll kind of think through what we think about this. But um, right off the bat, it's very simple. I get a smokiness. I do smell maple wood, which is nice. Um, but I like it. What do you think for an initial score? Um, I, I want to say 7.5? Yeah, I like that. Let's start with that. See where it goes, see if it goes up or down. All right, guys, so our initial review of it is we're going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, you guys ready for some memes and highlights? Yeah, boy! Perfect. Yeah! Yeah! Fight. Falcon! 
Great! Sweep the leg. Let's get back to the whiskey now. So, Gentleman Jack, I'm really liking it. Um, what I was going to say earlier was that it reminds me a lot of, in a way, uh, Asahi, uh, the Japanese beer, how the finish, the finish of this whiskey reminds me of the finish on um, the Asahi Japanese beer. It's, it just, you drink it, you swallow it, and it's, it's just gone. There's not really an aftertaste, so it's very interesting. I kind of like it. Yeah, like a dryness, like, um... I'm not I'm not terribly versed in wines, but there's like those you know those wines that have like that really dry finish. I can't recall which ones, but it's like that for me. Is it me. white white wines? Is it the white wines? I know yeah, there's whites. The, white wines tend to be more. Yeah, they kind of. They come off like they finish dry. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, there, there must be a white. Yeah, wine. yeah, yeah. White wines. Um. But uh, so gentlemen, Jack, what are you smelling in there? Mine actually developed a bit so I get that that maple wood or um, it's kind of become sweeter on my uh, on my yeah, nose it's almost like maple syrup in a way. yeah so it kind of developed into a maple syrup and then now it's like a strong honey like a really um, pungent honey mm -hmm. um, I like that it's like it's like I'm sticking my nose up to a beehive <laughs> I'm really it's really like, strong I'm really liking this whiskey I'm, I'm actually really surprised I am too um, it's getting more syrupy but it's not sweet like um, like cake or candy or anything like it's a it's a nice complimentary like this is how I like to have my pancakes with just a, a nice light maple on it not I'm not a big like IHOP style super rich kind of um, person but it's just a nice it's it's strong it's there um, but it, it's not overpowering. Um. Quick note about the gameplay you're watching. So that's the new character in uh, Tekken 7. I think her name is Lydia. And this player I battled just destroyed me. They were very... They were very well versed in this character. They were very good. Yes, very. And the character just came out not too long ago, maybe a week ago. I don't know the exact date, but not that long ago. And this person was extremely good. Um, I really like this whiskey. Yeah, um, I do also, I just, I get it, just a hint of a spice. Do you get that? Uh, it's just a that. hint, just a hint, but the, on that. On the nose, it tastes. Um, on the nose. Let me taste it one more time. The nose, I'm getting. I'm getting just that. That maple leaf syrup kind of sweetness. Okay. On the on the nose, I get that, and then on the taste, um, that smokiness comes through for me, and it's kind of. I don't want to say sour, but it's there's something different. Maybe it's kind of sour, but uh, I'm not a fan of sour, And but I like this. This is nice. Well, this, you know, I, I will say this. This might be the, the first whis whiskey we've had that I would I would be comfortable having dinner with. Like, Yeah, very complimentary. Well, FYI, guys, um, we try not to eat and drink at the same time just so we can keep our palates um, clean for you guys. Clean for the review. And, but even even on a regular basis, like, we don't. I, I rarely drink and eat, uh, drink alcohol and eat at the same time. I, I tend to just. Uh, yeah, I kind of just enjoy it. It's, it's kind of like our snack, I suppose. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> or like a dessert. A sweeter one would be more like a dessert, like but truly. This is one of the the whiskeys I think I could I could have dinner with. Like, yeah, I like it. I, I feel like it just wouldn't. Yeah, like it wouldn't like take away from the fact that I'm eating steak or whatever I'm gonna have and I'm not. Yeah, I don't think it would compete too much, but it would right. be complimentary. It might be complimentary, yeah. Um, especially to meats. But um, maybe even just vegetables or things Maybe, like yeah, it's a nice there's, there's little touch. There's a lot touch. of things. You, you want to just know what I think, like off the top of my head, I think this whiskey, Gentleman Jack, I would have it with sushi. I would have it yeah. with some sort of steak, uh, barbecue, some kind of barbecue. Yeah. Korean food. Um, I'd even have it with like roasted vegetables. Right, roasted vegetables, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very complimentary. Very versatile, right? It doesn't have to be a hearty meal. Um, it could be on the lighter side, like sushi. Um, and if, by the way, guys, if you haven't tried sushi with whiskey, it's it's a nice mix. If you get the right ones, anyways. What we tried it with worked. Oh, what did we have? We had it with. Uh, I'm trying to think. Kyle. 
Was it Kayo? I think it was Kayo. Yeah, so a Japanese whiskey. Um, this is in our oak, the Kayo 7. The 7 year. Yeah. yeah. But and, anyway, and that paired well. Before we get off track here, um, Gentleman Jack, I'm thinking. I like it. I'm thinking we're going to go to 8. Yeah. I, this is this is very nice, um, and it's it's not based off of just um, the personal preference. I think it's a nice, nice, balanced whiskey. Hey guys, so there you have it. Our official VGG rating is going to be eight stars out of ten. Once again, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this content interesting, or you just like video games and whiskey. All right, we'll see you guys next time.